one 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 zero zero one one one. Oh man. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Some people. Tom and Andy and myself and we do hobby chat about hobbies. But that's all historical nonsense. This is science fiction. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and that we are doing some Space Station Zero and we, with matching dice. It's a pigeon that may or may not shit everywhere. <laughs> and we're under the hobby gazebo in my back garden. Hence my bike and my tarpauling. Because uh, it's nice and warm out. Uh, and we are in our Space Station Zero here. It's beautiful old school minis, somewhat dwarfed by my scale creep, <laughs> generic sci-fi bad guy, Palanite Enforcer bits and bobs. Uh, we're going to adventure through this space station and try and get out the far end, but these ancient sentries are going to try and stop us and eat our flesh. I mean, you've not got much flesh. I mean, you're basically skull in a spacesuit. Well, I still don't want my skull chewed on, do but, I? <laughs> but, yeah. We'll crack on. Absolutely. Camera set. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ed. Hobby support group, roving reporter. Fresh from the wilds of... Where were you? Uh, on a space station. Uh, before then, I was in Wanstead. Uh, and uh, yes, no, uh, playing uh, Space Station Zero. But you've been roving reporter for Hobby Support Group. I have. I? Yes, yeah, Gaming Throttle. Um, yeah, so Tom and Andy started the podcast. Yeah. And uh, I was. 100 on... episodes. Yes, yeah, 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 101. And I think there's a couple in the bag, so yeah. we're rocketing through them. Um, yeah, the um, podcast has been going for a number of years. It was a lockdown project originally. Um, and, and they all... Exactly, exactly. And then um, uh, I was uh, on uh, quite a few of the earlier episodes and then uh, gradually I've been finding my niche as the person who goes and interviews people. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. But we've been playing, as you said, some Space Station Zero show the lovely people. It's good fun. Didn't you say? Yeah, it was really good. I mean, I've okay. had fun, you're good fun. So that's uh, yeah. maybe I'm biased. <laughs> I think we'd have a fun time playing a bad game, but this is a good game, so it was yeah, yeah. double the fun. It, um... Um, it feels... So it's a collaborative game, um, yeah. and uh, we, we played it as a collaborative game. You could play it as a solo game, um, and... Uh, you can play against the AI, which is yeah. the... the Don't say choose your own adventure kind of you play a mission which is an intro mission yeah the first one we did and then you go out the end and you roll on a chart for it depends on the room so the first one you mm. roll to go in one of six different directions and then you start on a chain so we did two games uh two challenges so at the end of the challenge that we rolled we then go on to a set specific challenge and i think i assume that as you go further on you can make choices and develop the story in them yeah yeah there's a lot of challenges um so i think you know that, that, that that's a thing i assume you'd be it's a good to portion do. of the book isn't it yeah. yeah yeah totally totally and it seems to be a well-written rule set i really like the dice mechanic d12s um which you don't roll many of in, no, in many no, no, games no. yeah that, that, I, I i i'm a fan of the d12 um you occasionally use them in D D if you're a barbarian i think uh, but yeah, you've got uh, you, you, you're rolling multiple d12s. You're rolling uh, uh, evens, not odds, to do anything. Yeah, e evens are a success, odds are a failure. But then you've also got this level where you have um, evens above a certain threshold for yeah. harder things. You tend to be rolling fistfuls of them. I shall insert the lovely character sheet that Ed is a cartoonist, amongst other things. Um, Drew for us just to help us remember who each model was in yeah. this context because we again one of the great things that this game does enable you to pick up loads of old models that yeah. you go oh that can be a wizard and that can be an apprentice like this can be my 
commander, my chief engineer, my ace pilot, my mind scientist. <laughs> that was a category that I came up with. He was just a scientist, but he's yeah. clearly using his mind. Yes. Pilots and soldiers, you know, you, you picked the models you had. Yeah. And you had half a dozen more, maybe. Mm hmm. But you picked the kind of stuff that suited the character you wanted to play yeah. on that day. And you were kind of quite imperial, whereas my guys were kind of more generic sci-fi sci -fi, uh, weirdos. Yeah. Because um, I brought all my 40k um, Imperial Guard personalities and random dudes that I'd stuck together. Yeah. They're all like 40k themed. And there was enough choice there to... This is first aid, Ed. Yes. <laughs> just all first aid, Ed. Yeah. But it's only... Yeah. yeah. You've got some second. I maybe. do, I do. And to be fair, the Imperial personalities are probably third. Yeah. I'm really pushing the boat out. Uh, but, um, yeah, the... Um, modern, I, I, modern trash. I know, no, sorry. <laughs> well, it's, it's letting the side down. And then, of course, um, my guys, yeah. do, like, tower over your, your <laughs> fellas. Because they're the, what is it, uh, part-time enforcers? Yeah, platonic forces with a little bit of conversion. One of the videos, I'll link it. That's where it usually goes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and because uh, I did custom bases, again, another video. Um, and they've got like quite a chunky base. Yeah. They've got like a, a layer of green stuff. Hex so they're bases. Even, yeah, yeah. With the... Yeah, the custom hex base. Which yeah. Just, I love them. Added a bit of old school flavour on a new model. 100%, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, but back to the game though, um, yeah. you know, uh, it, it does enable you to customise and do lots of things and one of the things you did was after the second mission you picked up a, uh, a medical robot, Yeah. which one of, one of the six that wasn't trying to peel our faces off. <laughs> um, Programming on these drones decayed a long time ago, they have gone from doctors to butchers repeating the surgeries. Uh, their frenzied programming retains. Medical droids will seek to move the crew. Move the crew. They will seek to move the crew to the tables, strap them in, and begin their grisly work. Equipment. The one that wasn't in murder mode. Yeah. You picked up and managed to uh, bash some scientific crystals into it. Didn't Basically, you? yeah. Apply the unguents and. Uh, yes. uh, was it seeing seeing the holy data recollection odes? Read, read, and, uh, read out the binary of you know one two one 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 zero zero one one one. Oh man, yeah, exactly. Uh, and you you managed to, to pick that up for later missions. You have a little medical yeah unit running around with you. We got some other loot. Mm -hmm. Um. Got very scared as they came hurtling at us. Yeah. At a whole six inches, <laughs> where the other ones in the previous mission had only been. As many as much as they were more numerous, they yeah. were only moving at three inches, but jumping up to that horrific speed, I think we were quite lucky in that they didn't quite get their teeth into us. That's right. Yeah. The first one flailed limply with a very bad dice roll. Yeah. You also had a piece of equipment that was very canny choice. Uh, yeah. You had a teleportation um, piece of kit. Yeah. So you could teleport one of your guys uh, to draw the robots away from us yeah and then portal to somewhere else and so you were running you're chasing them around yeah chasing ch had one of the robots running around a, a cargo container while the rest of the of our forces shot at it shot yeah. at it um but that enabled us to draw away some of the robots while others ran up to um yeah uh control panels and tried to Again, uh, put the right Betamax VHS video into this weird ancient technology and, and yeah. in the vain hope that it would turn off the most dangerous flesh-eating robots. But yeah, it's, um, it seems to have lots of potential. Yeah, um, I can see it being uh, pretty lethal. Um, we only got, obviously, two challenges in and there was a marked step up in the lethality of those robots. Yeah. I think because we had a combination of luck and good decision making meant that we survived both with all our people intact. Yeah, yeah. But um, your historical gaming uh, acumen. Form square, lads. <laughs> uh, you sort of did. Yeah. Kind of form square and shimmy sideways <laughs> as they came towards us. Yeah. Um, and I, I 
all the robots who are melee focused. But exactly. All the, all so, the bandits yeah, yeah, who are melee yeah, yeah. focused. And we, I don't think we were madly shooty, and we were quite elite units. That's In this right. game, you can have four man crew, six man crew, isn't it eight man or something? Yeah, Plus yeah, two yeah. Captain. Go, go down enough, yeah. So you can you can be more numerous, but we again just for brevity, have a five, yeah, you know, a captain and four crew. Yeah. Um, seemed prudent. And we got two games in. Yeah. And lunch, and I think we kicked off at about because I kicked, I arrived here about eleven. We entered about one. We had about four and a half hours of gaming, and um, we managed to get two games. And obviously we were. In, as you always are with writing the lists you're, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and when you're not that familiar with the books we were looking through to uh, double check things that I, I, I reckon if you knew the rules um, and you were a bit experienced with the game you could go through three or four missions in the same time that it took us to play two yeah 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 it, it's, I think it's um, I certainly any game I've played a couple of times in a row I get a buzz for it and I I feel like I'm beginning to get a grasp of how it works and the nuance yeah. of it. I mean, there were everything seemed to be well written. What was the one that we were like kept flicking backwards and forwards on? Oh, we're trying to work out where weapons were. Weapons are listed in general equipment. Yeah, that was a bit of an odd one. Yeah, there are like keywords behind elements of uh, equipment. So yeah. you have like categories, and then within those categories, you have different keywords. So That's right. right. Yeah, yeah. And a missile weapon, an energy missile, and a missile. Um, and a kinetic missile yeah. kept tripping me up because I'm thinking missile launchers because yes. that's when you use that term it's, yeah. but it's just a projectile rather than a missile which is a, just a bit of a mm -hmm. weird what is that me or is that just a weird bit of a choice of word and there was there was another one it was um, some of the tests where you've got to make a certain number of Successes. Successes yeah. at a certain threshold. Exactly. It, yeah. it, it becomes a bit confusing of like how many of the what nows. So yeah. you've got five dice, for example, and you've got to make five successes over four yeah. to turn off this robot that's trying to bite your mate's face off. Um, yeah. and, and it's known whether it's the plus or the one number in the bracket, it was, wasn't overly obvious. Yeah. Um, I think as you play on, I assume there's going to be more difficult challenges like that, where yeah. you not only have to have a certain number of successes, those successes yeah. need to be above a certain level. Yeah, but it was like everything else is quite simple and, and easily digestible. Yeah. And, but that one little thing was just that one, and all of a sudden we could, it felt like we'd hit a, a steeper learning curve, but yeah. I think, I hope next time we play, yeah. come, come around again, we'll have another go. Yeah. Um, one of the things with, that kind of strikes me is that while you're exploring this colossal space station, you could come out the end of a corridor and go, its crew could say, well, I'm busy this weekend, I'm seeing my mum for lunch, I can't make it, but Andy and Tom might come over or yeah. somebody else might yeah, come yeah, over yeah. and yeah. go, oh, hey guys. Um, and in the space station, these two crews meet at a junction and go, mm. do you want to adventure this way with us? We're going this way. and Yeah. Can. I think it very much uh, encourages a kind of shared universe type thing yeah, um, yeah. For, for the campaign. So yeah, and, and also like you could, where are you going to recruit your guys from when they die? I assume that there's yeah. a mechanic in that, but I, I, you I, know. I don't know where, but I kind of got that impression that you might find a straggler from, yeah. you know, the rest of their party has been murdered by flesh eating robots or mutants that are somewhere or uh, some weird alien menace and... You go, hey, would you like to join us? We're not entirely weird alien menace. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I mean, no, I really liked it as well. I, um, while we were playing, I was thinking of loads of conversion ideas. Yeah. Because like I said, I just brought my 40k miniatures, but you could use like the Stargrave uh, multi-part kits. Um, yeah, yeah. You can mix and match with loads of different stuff to get something. But I mean, one of the great things about this book is the illustrations are really, really good yeah. and very characterful. And not you, as good as yours, Ed. But well, you, 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 I, I, I mean, you know, but, like that, <laughs> but, but each of the um, different crews have uh, a particular vibe. The illustrations are very um, yeah. uh, evocative. And so you can ship, choose your type of ship, and each type of ship has 
different skill sets. So you've got a warship or a shipping ship. Shipping uh, ship. A shipping, shipping ship. <laughs> um, and, uh, Science, uh, medical, pirates. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, logistics. Uh, yeah, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Logistics. I, I really want to do the shipping ship. Uh, because um, you, so Your captain just has a clipboard under his... Yeah, basically. Do that. Do it faster. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got to get this um, to Dulwich by... Um, yeah, no, I, I yeah, the, the art is great. Um, the whole like vibe of the thing, um, with the writing and, and it's like flavor text for each of the challenges um, and examples. Yeah, got to love an example. Yes, this is a thing. Oh, and this is a little paragraph of how that works. Yeah. These are the little kind of drop out, useful little paragraphs. It's well laid out. Example of the difference between success number and target number. Yeah. God, I wish I'd seen that earlier. That was <laughs> what I was saying I was struggling with and I missed it. Oops. But, you know, again, familiarity with the game is yes. because of familiarity with the book. The book is gorgeous. It's quite a lightweight, lightweight cover. Paperback. But this has been in my rucksack with tools and jumper shoved in and yeah. to the club and back and it's surviving nicely mm -hmm. but of course when you buy the book you get a free pdf or you can just buy the pdf if you want it immediate more um yeah it's really lovely i think yeah it's it's definitely got a choose your own adventure type feel with uh the club. That's, that's, that's ip it's it's it, 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 it's, you can yes. have an adventure of your random rolling yes and you form your own narrative from the choices of I think we make. We forged the living fuck out of the narrative. I'd say um, so, yes. I mean, the crystals thing was just pure invention. Yeah. Um, I used the, was it, uh, well, the t Astra Telepath, yeah. you know, um, uh, ones as a scientist. Yeah. So we decided that, okay, she, they're using psychic crystals as their cool. way of um, communing with uh, science. So, so yes, uh, everything was involved in crystals by the end of it. Yeah. Uh, even though my guys had glowing crystal skulls for heads, <laughs> they were fairly like. Is the pragmatic? Pra 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 <laughs> they were the more reality based of the two crews, mm. but also like you had like the second mission. So the first mission is like a docking bay, yeah, and you randomly roll for um, as opposed to any other kind of roll. You randomise uh, what kind of foe you're dealing with. Mm. And I think the first time you played, you had poison gas. And poison gas, and yeah. you had to get up to three points on the board and turn off a dial yeah. to shut off the gas. Yep. And then this one, we rolled uh, wires and cables yeah. dangling and tripping across the floor. Yeah. Um, you had to sort the cables out, otherwise every time you tried to move, you might get electrocuted. Yeah. And you also had uh, old loading droids or de yeah. defence droids or whatever they were. Um, and so that was the first thing. So you're li li literally added entry points, and that's always going to be the case. Yeah, the then, funnel. Yeah. 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 And uh, it kind of works like a training game. I think it feels like yeah. a training game. Uh, second one that we rolled up was a medical bay. Yeah. So um, which feels like the kind of thing you'd have at the front of a ship as well. Mm. I mean, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it would be saying. Yeah. Yeah. The um, and it was, I thought hilarious because these droids were trying to cure your diseases but because they had a wire short all they knew was to well, chop you up and we're, we're aliens yeah. well, they, yeah. they were described as wearing flesh and bones and yes they were there were corpses on uh on these medical bays yeah um of some various of them, states of yes. decomposition and they were exactly some of them unidentifiable some of them yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but Given your guys were basically animated skeletons in spacesuits, I don't quite know what they were going to try and do Couldn't to try I and fix you. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it was um, it, uh, uh, lots of narrative being suggested by you know playing yeah, soldiers. Just a, just want. enough stuff to give you kind of a a hook. Thing. Yes. Yeah. 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 Much. I mean, forty k does it with the unreliable narrator by saying one thing here and another thing there, and you kind of left to make choose your own adventure yeah, yeah. Uh, come, come, up, your own, come yeah. up with your own conclusions yeah. um, and this just kind of just throws out little bits of sci-fi sci gems that yeah. make you think you know okay so you, you had 40k with a bit of crystal flavour and I had 
weird 50s gl- 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 glowing skull but they're covered in bits and bobs so they yeah. were explorers and you know and you know equally you read some of this stuff and it just says oh that's star trek oh that's star yeah. wars yeah. that's insert your you know your your li- your favorite sh- sci-fi mm. thing or what was it even we said you know you could like oh my god napoleonics you know there's a bunch of guys who blunderbuss because they've yeah. time traveled somehow and here they are <laughs> you know um you could use whatever you want whatever yeah you want. yeah yeah and some of the illustrations have got very kind of um uh 18th century type pistols and navy equipment and um, yeah, yeah. Uh, mixed in with modern sci-fi and space age stuff yeah. um so yeah you, you lots of ideas you can have for this is why i was saying while i was playing i was like oh i'm going to convert up something that would be fun to play for this yeah yeah uh, it's it's yeah. good fun I mean, my, any, any game you play and you immediately kind of get it and it throws out lots of hobby ideas i think it's what you want it's yeah. what you want and we got it Indeed. Um, give it a go um uh 11 to 12 out of a million um points. yes win. Uh, yeah five disembodied skulls excellent and <laughs> three crystals <laughs> any any final thoughts uh, uh, there it is yeah it's um will Kirk- kirkby will kirkby who is chamonkey on twitter yeah on twitter only on twitter <laughs> <laughs> don't go on twitter anymore if I find him elsewhere, I'll link to him in the What's It. Yes. Well, nice. the What's It, surely. Oh, no, that, that's for... Um, that's for the videos. That's for videos. The, that's uh, for the, the, the doobly-doo. That's the doobly-doo. Doobly-doo, okay. or the cat. Cause, oh, yes, yes. Because I was pointing down there, and yeah. the cat was sat in my lap. So, for me, it's in the cat. I see. Where is your cat? He's lurking about over there. He's, he's found a nice little spot. Oh, fine. fine. So, if you see Monk's cat, click on Monk's cat. Click on and then you'll be able to follow the yeah. It's Bluetoothed up. Uh, Fair enough. Yeah. The um, I think there's like, uh, there's something to be said for playing a game system where loads of people play it and like forty k for example. Yeah. yeah. Where you you know you've got all the stuff that you're being supplied with, but I feel that there is something to be said for a really simple, new, interesting indie game that. You know, there is no reason why you should be complaining about being run around the houses by whatever shenanigans a large gaming company might be throwing at you. Yeah. These yeah. indie games are out there, really yeah. easy to get hold of. Stop pissing play. and moaning about Games Workshop. Yeah. Play some other games. Yeah, yeah. Because I said to you, you know, you've got a crew of five or six, bring a dozen models, bring some stuff we might use as baddies. Yep. Second edition orcs. Um... And depending on what you roll, we use my little robot baddies. Which are great. And I'm sure you did a video about your dice baddies? I do a fucking video about everything. <laughs> <laughs> I did a video about just hanging out with a mate and having some pizza and rolling some dice. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's it's a low bar for entry. Yes. And if, you know, I've only played it once before. And I only played um, one mission mm-hmm. with Johnny. Um and we manage two, and that's just based on you know lots of games you you play. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is my game every day. This is my summer of playing all the games. Yeah. Play all the games, which makes does that mean that this when you read something like this, you are better able to because you you've experienced lots of mechanics. You are, you're better able to wrap your head around what they're saying? Possibly. I would say it. Um, I can definitely appreciate good layout, and this has got very good layout for reading right. um, at speed if you want to pick up the key things. Like, yeah. I, I did barely any prep before I came, apart from watching some videos. Yeah. And then reading, uh, talking it through with you, um, it didn't take long to find the things that we need to... And that is n- definitely not the case with a lot of rule systems. Um, I've played a lot of Space Widows, which is an indie game, and that is very good as well in terms of its layout. It's a very slight document. Um, you can find what you need, but yeah. there are some other games that are out there where... And they tend not to be the indie gaming thing. They tend to be games which take themselves very seriously and need to be complex. It's just, just when you have not played it for a while and you want to try and remind yourself how it works, 
it's not user friendly in that way. Mm. Um, but I would say of, of the indie games that I've played, like I said, I've played some Space Weirdos, I've played some other stuff. I played the more, more recent 40k recently, but that doesn't count. But this is very well laid out in the editorial sort of. Uh, uh, like so, you've got side text, you've got your main text. The description is uh, easy to access and read and appreciate. That's really good, and, uh, and I, I think that's not always the case with board games. So. Is this very different from anything else you've played? I mean, um, the D twelve D twelve is a weird, uh, um, are a bit unusual. Yeah, rolling a pool of dice for each stat is. Uh, I've only uh, what's it? Um, Tales from the Loop yeah. used that system. That's a role play game. Um, but um, that's what the fate dice system. I think it's. I've never played to. it, but I think that that sounds familiar. Yeah. Um. It it that's unique in terms of games that I played. I would say that um, the way in which you can build a crew with its unique identity based around certain archetypes is very similar to. This is a compliment. Um, Xenos rampant. Oh, I was going to say Frostgrave. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. The, the schools of magic yes. mean you are. You have flavors of. Your, your, the spells you can take yeah. whereas in this the type of whether you're a pirate or a military or a science or, or mm. blah blah blah, blah. Uh, that, that's I think a good thing if you've got something that you can get your head around because it's like okay I know what a scientist is yeah. uh, but you've got enough options to build something that feels unique to you yeah. sometimes you're playing a new system and it'll have loads of lore and loads of things that are named specifically for copyright reasons it just yeah. means it's like oh well i don't quite get my head around this so okay a war megalodon <laughs> archaic um yeah, yeah. you know mega I ipable word yes yeah yeah, yeah 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 something in latin something very long and something suitably bellicose and it's just like i don't know what this is but it's clearly just a space marine so that's what it is yeah. You, I, I, you want something which is like generic enough for you to understand but gives you enough options to create something that feels unique to you and I th feel like it does that and I, again um, uh, Xenos Rampant does that very well mm -hmm. um, one page rules their system it's a bit more clearly or at least the version that I played was a bit more clearly a clone of 40k or very 40k adjacent, let's put it yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think they're trying now to make their um, uh, come up with armies that are a bit more unique. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt like it was accessible, like I could get build an army to do what I wanted it to do. Uh, but sometimes something as simple as just going to scientist and you interpret what that means. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In our case, we interpreted it as a scientist that hammers crystals into robots, and then. Well, then we're back, we're coming off of that kind of weird arcane uh idea of what the 40k universe 30k universe thinks science is because yeah. they've lost it the dark age of technology yes um, well, and i think the next thing that i want to try and do is do a uh as a modeling project a crew for this that has no links to 40k whatsoever yeah, yeah so yeah. maybe using the um uh, star grave plastic kits and kit bashing with all the bits and bobs yeah and do something maybe that looks a bit more like the excellent artwork in this book yeah very much um i mean as much as i have used my palanite enforcers i think the way that i put colors on them and used 30k weapons and cuffed them in pouches and bits they somehow as much as it's pretty much all 40k bits 30k 40k bits and that kind of space helmet thing that i yeah. use that's from bombshell miniatures um, they don't look in the least bit 40k. No, not at all. It's very odd how they yeah. are what 95% that, but not. Yes. And they and they really feel because I didn't initially build them for this. I did a test model that was like a generic white space sky with a golden dome, like yeah. NASA. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, um, space shuttle era um, astronauts. Yet, just because I happened to put the the bright colours on them. They turned out looking like like the guys on the cover. Mm -hmm. um, as much as you could go kind of down and dirty and pick up kind of more, you know, some of the artwork in in the greys and the black mm -hmm. and white images here, 
they feel very much like the blue collar kind of uh, astronauts yeah. of the aliens universe. Yep. You know, arguing about their uh, about whether they're going to get their their points on this yes. on this mission. Yeah. Only the cat survives. Yep. Yeah. The cats. That's true. They're probably an oversight. Fucking no cats. Yeah. Done. Done. Table flip. I think it's um, uh, if you've not played an indie game before, uh, it's a good place to start. And uh, if you're not playing yeah. indie games, play indie games. They're really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's so many little bits that people are doing. We're living in that kind of nice period where PDF and not even a printed version can get you started. Yeah. As much as I love a book and it's it's nice, it's quicker. I, th I still think to flip through something. Yeah, me too. Is yeah. To, I mean, we didn't. I didn't even I had my iPad charged up and we didn't use no, it out there. At all. Um, there wasn't really an incident where you and me were looking and I was looking and we were struggling. We could find it pretty readily. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's... Of of the indie games I've played, which isn't a huge number, half a dozen, it's the most accessible and interesting one. Yeah. And I think if you've got, you know, Kill Team toys or you've got a few of this and a few of that or you've seen some interesting models you just fancy painting, you might find you end up using them in a game like this um, rather than just painting them up and sitting on a shelf. Yeah. Because um, we initially started like, it's like the the language everybody speaks is Games Workshop because yeah. most people um, know that a Space Marine and an Orc. So we were talking about I was going to use some of my Alpha Legion models, you would use some of your Death Guard, yeah. and then your and my Orcs would be the bad guys. It turns out you had some human scale models, I yeah. had some human scale models. My uh, robot uh, Blood Bowl team um, became the baddies, yeah. but had we rolled up a, a mission in this that needed mutants, we could have used... The orcs you brought round, exactly, like, yeah. dug out some dream stealers from an old copy of Space Hulk. Yeah, you know all those things would would work. Um, because it's a real mishmash. Yeah, so you don't need to buy a whole new set of miniatures if you want to play this. If you've got a bunch of games workshop stuff, mm -hmm. however, if you do want to buy uh, new miniatures, um, like the Stargrave kit would work really well. Yeah, if you're doing like loads of uh, kit bashing. Um, I can think of loads of kit bashing ideas off the back of this. Yeah. But um, uh, yeah, 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 definitely the creative juices are just going and going. Which is a really good time for a game, for sure. Yeah, 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 entirely. I mean, it kind of it really made me feel like when the fervor for Frostgrave hit the club, yeah, and everybody was just like every person, every other person you spoke to was talking about their Frostgrave warband that they were just yeah. going to do something wild with, and they wandering around salute. People would go, oh, it's for death, it's my new wizard. <laughs> uh, kind of thing. It's like, those are mice with swords. What? It, yeah, yeah. It and then, works, yeah, yeah. And then the, that, those leftovers from your French Napoleonics yep. could then go into that. You could take those guns off and put some Anvil Industries, LAS rifles and Easily, machine yeah, guns yeah. in there. You know, head swaps and things could do wonders. Um, yeah, really pleased with that. Thanks for coming over, Ed. My pleasure. And thanks for sitting in front of the camera. Um, what's where do people find the hobby support group? We are on um, all the platforms. If you search for hobby support group, we're on Facebook. Um, it's the only reason I still have Facebook is because we have a community on Facebook. Um, we, uh, uh, if enough people want a Discord, I'm happy to start a Discord. Oh God, I can't get my head around this. <laughs> uh, it feels yeah. like very early internet to me. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it is what it is. Yeah. I, I'm, uh, yeah, so. Certainly yeah. not Twitter. Um, no, no, no one's on, none of us <laughs> are on Twitter. We do not intend to be on Twitter uh, or on X. Um, and uh, yes, sad times. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, no, no, uh, just, just, uh, we're all... So it's, it's a podcast, it's, exactly. it's audio yes, format, yeah, 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 yeah. stick it on, so, yeah, all the, all the podcast pl- platforms and a Facebook group, right? Yes, exactly so, yeah. Sweet. Wave at the nice people. 